Hello everyone, today our topic is major disease, cervical diseases, chronic cervicitis, cervical epithelial dysplasia and carcinoma in situ, cervical carcinoma, gestational trophoblastic diseases, GTD, high dirty farm mole, invasive mole, carcinoma, carcinoma of the breast, invasive mole distinguishes between benign and invasive mole, myometrium in benign, not in benign, in invasion, have myometrium bleeding not in benign but have in invasive metastasis not in benign but have in invasive invasive mole morphology grass hydrophic will lie invade into myometrium hemorrhage and necrosis morphology light microscope proliferation of trophoblastic cell will lie atopia Invasive mole clinical manifestation, uterus irregular enlargement, HCG extremely high, vaginal bleeding, metastasis, common side lung. So our second topic about uh, major disease, cervical diseases, chronic cervicitis, cervical epithelial dysplasia and carcinoma in situ, cervical carcinoma, gestational trophoblastic diseases, GTD, datiform mole, Invasive mole, choriocarcinoma, carcinoma of the breast. So, gestational trophoblastic diseases, general features, proliferation of trophoblastic cells, HCG extremely high, ever higher than pregnancy status, major classification, form mole, invasive mole, choriocarcinoma. Etiology, unclear, related to heredity, related to pregnancy, morphology, grass, Transluent cystic grape like structure within the uterus and no invasion in myometrium. Classification complete mole and partial mole. So, here you can see the complete mole two sperms 23, double X are 23 chromosomes XY, or egg 23X chromosome sperms, no maternal DNA, duplicate of sperm DNA, paternal chromosomes only androgenetic mole now 23x chromosomes and 23x both eggs are combined together and become the maternal and paternal chromosome triplet eighty form mole morphology uh, high endometrial stroma villi absence or obvious decreasing of stroma blood vessels trophoblastic proliferation synectotrophoblast cystotrophoblast